everyone, I am here with a totally random spring clothing haul. Spring, summer, depends where you live. Starting this week, we're supposed to hit 96 degrees, so welcome to spring in South Texas. But I have a variety of outfits and pieces from a bunch of different retailers, from Chico's to J. Crew to Anthropology to Loft, a little bit of Amazon, a little bit of Walmart, you know how it goes. So let's talk about this one last. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen me try it on, but I'm gonna save probably my favorite piece for last. Okay, let's start with basics. I have noticed that in my hauls, I tend to go for showstoppers, statement pieces, but you know, every day, day to day, it's really just the basics. Now, I love a linen tee, and Chico's has recently come out with just the perfect linen tee. I picked up two of them in a recent try-on, and I did do a whole try-on on Instagram stories. I saved that in my try-on highlights. So if you wanna go back and look at that footage, go ahead. So I picked up two of them. The first one you're seeing is this navy with a thin white stripe. It's just a really versatile piece. I love how it hangs. Of course, the linen part is lovely, so it's not heavy. I also picked up some more, I'd say, summer type jeans. I believe these are the girlfriend cut, but maybe the ankle length. I picked these in particular because the wash is just a little bit different than anything else I have. It's not, it's not distressed. It's not a light wash. It's not a medium wash. It's just a very interesting color. It goes with quite a bit. I paired it with my recent pickup from Walmart. These are the braided sandals that I just cannot get enough of with that rose gold. And then I also have that same navy and white linen tee in this bright Kelly green. I love this color. I just love bright green. I don't have very much of it in my closet, so when I saw this in the store, I grabbed it. Next outfit is a mix of a few things. So these jeans, I pray, are still available. I know the EV1 line is going away at Walmart, but they're, like, they're my favorite jeans. And these are the Alex jeans, but they're in a distressed kind of denim. What I love about the distressed part of this pair of jeans is that there's no hole behind it. So even if it's all ripped up, they still have solid denim behind it, so none of your skin is showing. They just fit, white sheets are hard, and these fit so nicely. I know I have to pick up some newer ones so I can show you what's new and available, but for right now, these are my go-to. I absolutely love them. Now, I have paired it with I, it's a whole white on white ensemble. When I came out for filming, Michael said, what are we going to a P. Diddy white party? What is this? I love this linen tunic button down. So it comes in a bunch of colors and some patterns, but I grabbed it in white because you just cannot go wrong with it. It is so versatile. As you see here, I'm just wearing it over a basic white tank. It's part of the Amazon Essential pack of two tanks that I pick up every summer just to refresh and have some crisp white ones. I love it like this. I easily see this thrown over a swimsuit as a swimsuit cover-up for sure. I also could see unbuttoning it at the bottom and tying it over a pair of skinny jeans or joggers, you name it. This particular linen tunic is just super versatile. Then to switch things up a bit, I actually saw this in the window of my local Chico store and that's what pulled me into the store. This kimono is something else. Again, it has my favorite pop of green in there. If you look closely, obviously it's a navy background, but there are a lot of colors in here. They all go together almost in a neutral way. So the navy background, the bright pop of green, there's also some turquoise, some white, and some bright pink. So even though there are a lot of colors going on in this outfit, it's almost a neutral. It goes with just about anything and everything. I did post me wearing this. I think it was with joggers. I'll post that up here. I also love this because while it is not the most inexpensive piece I've ever picked up from Chico's, it is two for the price of one. It is a fully reversible kimono. So something I really like about this piece, I love pockets. Pockets should be in everything. I don't know why that's just not a rule, but there are pockets on both sides, whether you wear it with the pattern side out or the solid navy. Either way, you've got pockets and I just, I don't know, there's just something about this. When you wear it in the solid navy version, it almost looks like a flowy kind of blazer. It's such a versatile piece. If you have a spring or summer wedding or some sort of occasion coming up where maybe you're wearing like a navy sheath dress or some sort of solid toned sheath dress, this kimono on top of it would just be stunning. 
All right, let's move into tops. So I recently discovered a new to me online boutique. They do have a store, an actual physical location in Dallas, but I am not in Dallas, so I appreciate that they have an online presence as well. The boutique is called Avara. It's Shop Avara on Instagram. I'll put that info below. I've been seeing it pop up all over my feed. So many influencers wearing their stuff. They carry a ton of brands that I really enjoy. So I picked up a couple of things, and the first is this top. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw it under, I think it was a cardigan because it was cold that day, but, and it layers well underneath something, but the little frilly, they're sleeveless, but they're almost a cap sleeve. The little frills around the sleeves, the embroidery, just everything about this top is so sweet and pretty. I like that the bodice is pretty fitted and then it goes into a little more of a flow. You're mixing up some patterns. You have the kind of fuchsia embroidery pattern on the bodice. And then if you look closely, it's sort of a navy and white almost I wouldn't say a check, but it's a subtle pattern, the rest, and then just all the details on the back are all these functional, but you don't need to open them to get in and out of the shirt. Little tiny buttons up the back. It's a beautiful shirt. The brand THML has really fun tops, and out of all the ones that I saw, this one was my favorite. I think it's that bright pink. I will definitely be getting more from Avara and more from that particular brand at Avara as the season progresses. I love it. Okay, next. I don't know how I feel about this outfit. And it's funny because I feel like it does not flatter me at all. I came out of the bedroom wearing this and Michael's like, wow, that is like 70s sexy look. I'm going, are we looking at the same thing? So my feelings won't be hurt as long as you're kind about it. Let me know what you think about it. I think these pants do nothing for me. Um, I'm starting to realize that while I like a high waist cause it sucks stuff in, that extra layer of material, that extra few inches of material on my lower belly might not be doing me any favors. You know, you have to be, you know, looking at yourself critically and objectively and maybe a mid to low high rise would be a little bit better. But I love these pants. They're a, more of a lightweight chino fabric. They're not stiff and heavy feeling. They're great for spring, summer. It is a little chilly today, so I paired it with one of my go-tos. I wear this all the time. It happens to be from Chico's. It's not new, but you need to know about this top. It's their longer chambray button-down shirt, and it's just so super versatile. I wore it the other day, actually. What did I wear it with? Oh, with white those white jeans. I actually wore it knotted like you're seeing here with a pair of white jeans when we went and walked the Valero Texas Open recently. It's a golf tournament here in Texas. This chambray is so soft. It's so, it's just, it's everything you want in a denim shirt. Everyone needs a denim shirt. You can wear it open, almost like a jacket over something. You can wear it tucked in. You can wear it over leggings. It's such a versatile piece and it's just a closet staple. If you've been looking, for a new denim or chambray shirt, you have to get this one. Now something I am 100% sure of is this dress. This is the other piece that I ordered from Avara. As of filming this, I think, I think it might be sold out at Avara. I know it comes in this beautiful blue and black and possibly one or two other colors at Avara. I have seen other retailers carry it and if I find it somewhere, I will link it below. I've seen it in other patterns and other colors. It is a lot of material. I'm aware that this look is not for everyone. This is a trend I can get on though, because I'm, you know, maybe not feeling my thinnest and I don't know what is going on with me, even though I am working, whatever. Blood work is getting looked at. I'll get to the bottom of it. In the meantime, I love this dress. I feel like a princess in this dress. It is fun. It is flowy. I love the bow in the back. It, I love the pockets. This particular shade of blue is stunning. I love the tears. I'm thinking I could probably belt it and it would be a little more figure flattering, but I also love it with, I actually wore it with a denim jacket over it, not this one. I have two go-to denim jackets. This one is the one from Cut From The Cloth and this one I wear over, it's a little bit shorter and it's a little more fitted. So when I wanna really contain the fabric, but it doesn't have pockets, which makes me nuts. My other go-to, which honestly I prefer, is the ones from Chico's. I have three of them. I have a kind of off black, a white, and just the same color. It's a little bit longer. I ordered it a size down, so it's also still a little bit fitted, but roomier in the arms, and it has pockets. 
I'm going off on a tangent. My point is I wore this blue dress with the denim jacket over it when we recently did a little tour of some San Antonio sites. That's a video that's coming up later this month, but I wore it to the Botanic Gardens, wore it to lunch, wore it to the San Antonio Museum of Art, and it's super comfortable. And as it gets super humid and hot here, flowy dresses are exactly what I'll be wearing pretty much, I think, from midweek to October. I should mention that I'm also wearing this dress with my new favorite pair of sandals from The Drop. They're part of the Amazon line. And then the necklace should look familiar. I have it with the pendant in a blue stone, like a dark blue. I had a birthday discount. We all get a birthday discount at Kendra Scott and because my birthday was in March and Michael also, his birthday's in March. So I dragged him in there so we could each pick out something at 50% off at Kendra Scott. Just an aside, if you did not know this, because I did not know this until I went shopping, I knew about the birthday discount. I knew that you get 50% off a regular piece of jewelry, and I thought it was or 25% off a piece of their fine jewelry or home. No, no, it's an and. Kendra Scott, could you be any better? It's 50% off a regular piece of jewelry, and if you so choose, 25% off a fine or semi-fine piece of jewelry and 25% off something from their home line. So you could get three things at a discount. Michael cut me off at two. So one of the pieces was that layered necklace. I wanna mess with it a little bit. Something really cool about that necklace is that each of the chains, each of the chains, I should say, attaches individually. So you can wear one, two, or all three together and then you can adjust the length, so I kind of want to shorten up the first two a little bit, but and and that medallion comes off, and you can wear the whole look without the medallion. Pretty cool. Anyway, I should also point out the other thing I got were these earrings, which I cannot stop wearing, and they go with that um, ring set that I wear occasionally. It's like little beads all the way around. It's not quite a huggy. It's a little bit bigger than a huggy hoop, and it's perfect. It goes under a mask. No problem. Forgot about this piece. This is the first time I'm actually wearing it, and this is another one where I'm like, I don't think, it, my legs are not my best feature. Okay, I will, I will beat you to the comments. I am fully aware. Also, a little self tan can go a long way. But anyway, this dress is from the newest Gibson Look collection that they did in collaboration with Cassie Sugar Plum, who I've had the pleasure of meeting and hanging out with several times. She is lovely. This dress comes in, three or four colors, and I chose it in this bright fuchsia raspberry pink. It's really fun dress. I love the little um, puff sleeve. I love the little flirty hemline and the self tie. I hate that it doesn't have pockets. I don't know what to do with my hands when I'm posing for this, so pockets are always good. If this pink shade is not your thing, of course, like I said, they have it in at least one print and then more of a bright turquoise as well. I'm wearing it in a size extra small. Gibson runs very big, clearly. I'm not an extra small, but I am in this dress. You can get 15% off the whole collection if you use my code, which I believe is Marnie15. Now a piece I am very sure of, and I love, is this dress from J. Crew. Not J. Crew Factory, this is J. Crew. Although side note, I was looking at my J. Crew Factory haul recently, and the tags and the clothes, they all just say J. Crew. So I don't know what that's about, but you would not know from looking at the tags that it's not J. Crew. Anyway, this one is though, I can assure you. I was in the J. Crew store and prices are a little different than J. Crew factory. But anyway, I love this dress. This is a cotton poplin, kind of a shirt dress, but not really. I love the buttons down the front to the waist. They are functional. You can button it all the way up and pretend like you're a prim little school teacher from the 1800s or you can you know, unbutton it as you would like. I like the little ruffled shirt waist kind of detail. The self-tying belt, this one has pockets. It is cotton poplin, so it's really crisp and light at the same time and flowy and fun, and I just love it. It does come in other colors, but navy, I just, I love navy, what can I tell you? And then the last dress, this one, I call my birthday dress. I had done a try on. I went to anthropology to pick out some things. Again, that is saved in my try ons highlight in my Instagram stories. I saw this dress. Here it is. You'll see it in a second over there. Um, but I saw this dress and just, I said, oh, for fun, I'll just try it on because it's not inexpensive. Um, but I did have a birthday discount. I had a discount of 20% on one piece. I think it's one piece. 
and I thought, oh, I, I just, I loved the dress, but I talked myself out of it. I thought, okay, it's still a little chilly. This would have been great for a fiesta event, but we're not having fiesta again this year. I have nowhere to go with this dress. This is more of an occasion kind of showstopper. I'm going to be responsible. I'm going to put it back. That was like on a Thursday. Well, couldn't stop thinking about the dress. I just could not stop thinking about the dress. Then I was stalking Instagram and I saw someone else wearing the dress. I was like, no, no, that is my dress. I need to get the dress. So I went back. Clearly I got the dress and I did wear it for my birthday dinner. I went out to dinner with my best friend and her husband and of course my husband as well. And we had a lovely evening and I just thought it felt extra special wearing this dress. Okay, let's start talking about it a little bit more. Um, it is obviously bright orange. These big flowers are actually little hand stitch embroidered all over the dress. This is kind of a funky thing. The straps are fully adjustable so you can, you know, make it tighter or looser depending on how you want it. I like wearing it under a denim jacket for right now because it's in the 70s and to me that is a little chilly. It has pockets, it's lined, it is fabulous. I love it. And Anthropology is constantly having sales. So if you follow me on Instagram, I will definitely put something up in stories if I get an alert that this thing goes on sale. If you sign up for their emails, you get 20% off during your birthday month. So, you know, while this might not be in the same category as Walmart or Amazon, there are ways to make it a little more attainable. Well, that is it for my current spring slash summer haul. I will list all the sizing and prices of everything that I tried on down in the description box in the order in which I shared it here. I'm not quite done. Well, I'm never, I'm never done with my spring summer shopping. It's always a thing here. I mean, it is what I do for a living. At least that's how I justify it. Currently, I am on the hunt for some shoes. I need some cute sandals and the ones I had my eye on sold out. I did not pull the trigger fast enough. So that will probably be something we'll talk about in May. In the meantime, I hope you had fun with me today. Please give this a like, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future fun. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next one. Bye.